Good morning. What is up? What is up? What is up? Good morning. <laughs> How many times am I going to say good morning? I don't know, Shia, but hold on. I'm using my phone to record because this is a spur of the moment situation. You guys, log on. <laughs> I put on my shoes. I don't even know where to begin, honey. Uh, I just pulled up at the gym. What's up? Happy September. Uh, what's today's date? Today is September the 14th. I have not uploaded a video on YouTube in two months. And I miss the not in I miss my little YouTube community. But I there was a lot of reasons why. I kind of didn't upload, but may I talk to me through it. I'm actually going to go to the gym right now. I drop off at the wagon, of course, with this whole eating right, working out, exercising. I may look a hot mess. Mm, I can't believe it. Worse than I've ever been before. But you know what? It's okay. We going to get it together. I know what to do. I know what to do. Guys i this is literally a rumbling oh by the way if you are new to the channel pretty sure no 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 new but this is for good housekeeping if you are new to the channel welcome thanks for clicking i'm lori if you're not new all the long time good up good up people in will always click on the video and support me my love no thank you y'all i was about to delete my whole youtube channel <laughs> <laughs> I was going to delete it all, okay? I was going to delete my entire YouTube channel. I haven't been on Instagram either. I don't think I've been on Instagram in the same amount of time, like the two months. I actually went to Jamaica for a while, came back. The beginning of the summer, I went to Disney. That was our little family vacation. We tried to take one family trip. First time me I got Disney, big, big fatty one, right? And I first me I got Disney, but I'm telling about it. I actually was vlogging that. The week before I went to Disney, I was doing an entire vlog about pre-vacation prep. I actually got my hair braided. Well, you know, the nice braids them with the little flyaway things. Bohemian braids. I did my hair like that. I, br I, I recorded that. I was telling you guys how I felt about it. <laughs> none of that no go up and then i vlogged i vlogged disney i was in orlando for a week i might still put that vlog out but anywho let's go into the gym work out and then me i want to chat let's go Oh, you guys. Ah, that was a great workout. I worked out for an hour. I actually did the um, 12 3 30 workout. Very popular workout because I'm still trying to get my endurance together. I actually started working back out. Is this the second week? Because I started the first day that my son went back to school. And it was the day after Labor Day. And then I burned my legs out for 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. Listen, I try to put it on 12. Every so often, I forgot on because, baby, them, this knee, my right knee, my right knee, no, no, my right knee is still good. Enough of that. My husband just texted me and asked me if I could stop at the grocery store and pick up one chicken for him. He gonna make some soup today. Um, pea soup with chicken foot. And he gonna put some chicken in it for himself. So, we don't have no chicken. So, I'm about to stop at Bushes to go get chicken. Chicken, everything is so expensive. I'm gonna really try to only buy organic chicken because... If we have them, uh, them uh, angle meat, you almost want to eat meat, but boy, me try, me no, no, me try again. And then the other day, my sister was telling me that I should buy the chicken from the Amish. I have to wash my hair. I had braids in. I love my braids. I, I sat down last night and, and took out my braids. I told you guys that I had done those 
bohemian braids in the top of the top of the the summer then charge me i'm gonna leg for them four hundred dollar to be exact i'm gonna decide say me now pay four hundred dollar again and then i just went back to my regular lady that normally braid my hair and i did not less so i actually just took those braids out last night so i'm gonna go and when i took the braids out i have my um olive raw aloe vera on my head so that's why i wouldn't probably notice that in the video i have a yellow scarf on the back of my hat because we take out the plastic bag anyways i'm about to go wash my hair right now okay and get ready for the day let's go I'm ready for the day. Uh, wash my hair, slick it back in a low bun because if you know, you know. That's all I can do with my hair. Husband over this I rock with the fat because I'm telling already, I'm going to cook some soup. But I have a few errands that I need to run. I need to unload my dishwasher. May I help out the man in the kitchen a little bit. <laughs> well, unload the dishwasher and probably run and do a couple of errands before it's time to pick up the kid up from school because he has a dentist appointment once he get out of school so let's do this and then Mayona can talk I just had my soup it was so delish it's actually almost two o'clock and I am trying to print this form that I had to have the pediatrician sign for my kid so that he can keep his inhaler at school and they put it on the my chart so I had to like download it, send it to my email. So I'm gonna try to print it right now so that when I pick him up, I just drop it off in the office. So I got the form right here to take to the school. And now I'm at Rite Aid. I'm gonna go pick up the albuterol, the inhaler. He has two at home, but I like to bring a full one to the school. So I told him to uh, refill the script. So you guys, I bought the stanley water bottle and i am so look at that i previously had another water bottle and i was so annoyed because it couldn't fit in my cup holder and it would be rattling because i would have it on the floor in my car it would be just rattling everywhere i am so excited about this look at that it's the simple things the one thing i don't like about this it doesn't have a cap over so I would never bring this to work to just have this open like this or bring it anywhere. I literally keep it at my house. I just have it inside of my car. But I went onto Amazon and I realized that they do sell, you know, the little thing. So I'm going to go on Amazon and pick that up. But yeah, I really like this. And I really like this color. I feel like everybody has the either the rose gold color or the tannish color off-white type color but very lovely all right first stop Marshall's listen you guys my son he's in the fifth grade <laughs> I have a whole fifth grader but I need to try to find him some um, zip-up 
long sleeve that is not too heavy for fall because in my girl like a weed it's kind of getting chilly in the morning time so like 50s in the morning so he needs to put on a little pull up to wear to school none of this something them from last year let me tell you no none of them can fit the young man input on one this morning i'm missing no zender uh-uh this is a mess the length is my problem for this child his arms are long his legs are long i mean i'm tall i'm five nine you know everybody in my family is, is kind of on the taller side so i'm coming to dj max i'm gonna go to marshall's as well i'm probably target to see if i find any um little zip up situation for him and i'm gonna put on my little jeans jacket because honestly I think it's like 69 but you know how they have them AC blasting in these places so yeah so let's head on inside okay You guys, it is 6.33 to be exact and I said let me finally sit down and just talk to you guys for a minute because listen, the day was busy. Took the kid to the dentist after I picked him up from school. I think I showed you guys that I went to Tar- I had went into Target. They didn't have what I was looking for because I want him to have the ones that just zip in the front instead of a hoodie that you pull over the head. But I didn't have the hoodie that you pull over the head. So, let me just say, forget about it. I can't remember, yeah. I don't even know. So, where have I been? Nowhere. I told you guys that actually, honestly, was thinking about deleting my YouTube channel. And one of the reasons why i kind of was going to delete it it's because when i first started my youtube channel i was heavily talking about nursing right nursing content i was doing educational stuff sharing my journey from cna to np that is actually the entire whole premise of my channel to say that you know i kind of went from working as a nursing assistant to now a nurse practitioner and i'm kind of showing you guys how i did it even though i had a lot of struggles if you've been here since the beginning of this channel you know the ups and downs where may have in a nursing school i talk about it freely and um all of that when it comes on to working as an NP and listen I'm one of those people who I sugarcoat nothing some people like it some people hate it but it is what it is because this is my experience and I'm gonna tell you what my experience is good bad or indifferent having said that as the years go on um, I've said this freely and openly on my channel that nursing is just annoying to me now <laughs> i might delete that <sighs> coming on nobody oh well you need to come out tight then because you're not gonna do good blah 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 you know people stay but it's not nursing it's just health care i shouldn't say nursing it's health care and boy oh boy oh boy i feel i just felt like i just don't want to talk about it anymore because that's how i started my channel it's unfair to a lot of you guys because most of you guys are here for that and some of you send me private messages a couple of people even said it publicly on the thing that you know me not do a lot of teaching content and things like that anymore but i totally understand and if you started watching me because of that and i'm not giving you what you want i understand if people just move on and say me no one watch her no more uh hold on jeez i think something wrong with this camera i don't dropped it one too many times but anyways people grow people evolve people move on and i totally get that i totally understand that i grow to and evolve and you know feel like me don't want to talk about that no more that much 
I'm not saying I'm never, ever, 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 ever gonna be talking nursing. Like, what? I will never not talk nursing, but I think that I don't wanna heavily just base everything on that. And I, it's not like I'm trying to be a lifestyle vlogger because, honey, my lifestyle is very boring. And I'm not one of these baddies out here. And I'm not one of these luxury people where, you know, the masses kind of watch because they want to aspire to be collecting luxury products like that. Like, that's not just not what I'm doing. So, I mean, definitely not send me there with your Jaffa B lifestyle vlogger or anything of that nature. But I totally understand and I totally get it. But yeah, that was part of the reason. I um, just never want to just come on here and uh, lackluster it because in a it in a make no sense i'm not gonna force myself to give you something i'm in a fully my heart not fully with it and you know i mean, i know y'all get it i know y'all get it but yeah that was one of the reason and i've just been struggling i'm not gonna lie i've been struggling with myself overall um in other ways that i'm not gonna get into i'm working on that um oh what is that call? i don't know what it is i honestly miss youtube and i I'm, I'm trying to figure out okay girl what you gonna be doing what you gonna be talking about because if it ain't nursing what then in terms of work what have i been doing for work because you guys know that i quit my last job my urgent care job and then i took a two month break i didn't work for two months and then i started working after two months drum roll wish for me there i said back at another urgent care yes why am I back at urgent care? Let me explain. <laughs> so I actually got three job offers, right? So one job offer. I think I put this in one of the vlog, one of the last set of set of vlogs that I was doing, and it was for primary care. When I applied for this job. I didn't realize it was primary care because you know sometimes then word is something one way or whatever I didn't realize it was really for primary care and I went I did the interview the doctor the director was very impressed with me he loved my resume like he he I could tell in the interview he was eating me up <laughs> you know what I mean you you can tell when an interview is going good and I said to myself say you know okay okay whatever asked me how much I would want to make and I told him how much I wanted he said something kind of the lines like well you know you know when you work urgent care you tend to make a little bit more because the hours are longer and then you do weekends you do holiday he was giving me all this spiel but you know primary care don't do weekends you don't do holidays it's kind of like a nine nine to five situation and I'm like yeah but me ask them for more than what I was making at urgent care. And yes, urgent cares tend to pay a little bit more than like primary care in some cases. And I'm like, yeah, I said that because I'm like, I didn't really want the job anyways. I was back up. I was really kind of pondering about the job. To my surprise, they called me and they offered me what I told them that I wanted. Then my next thing was I told them that I wanted to go shadow with, at the office. I really didn't like the office and then everything that they was telling me about what I would be expected to do, you know, and I was kind of really going back and forth like, girl, do, do you really want to do primary? Bottom line, I don't want to be in primary care. I really don't want to be in primary care, period, because primary care to me, people don't realize primary care is a lot. Even though you're working nine to five, Monday through Friday, primary care is a lot. And you know, you're dealing with patients, managing and maintaining their blood pressure, their hypertension, you know, their diabetes. Nine times out of ten, we know all these patients are not, they don't want to listen and then they expect you to work a miracle. It's just a hot mess. One of the things I like about urgent care is like, yeah, you come in here for a laceration, me suture your laceration, you're gonna buy your business. You come in here because you have a idiot. You know, I mean, I say things 
or follow up with your primary care doctor for certain things. Now, I still do not like certain things about urgent care, and I think I've said that in one of my urgent care videos. I've been there now, how long? I don't even know, three months? Three months. I've been there three months, and it's urgent care. It is what it is. And my feeling now is, you know what, Lori, do your best and the rest is just going to be there. And I'm just doing my best. I'm not about to worry about nothing else. Patience. I'm doing my best. Um, I'm still not kissing your ass for a five star review. I'm going to be respectful to you. You're going to be respectful to me. And we just keep it moving like that. But that's just how, you know, it is. But I'm not going to let the other day something even happened and I just nod, smile and just said, you have a nice day. <laughs> the old Lori would have never done that. <laughs> oh, growth, I guess. And I went back to work because let's be honest, I'm not just going to sit at home and not work and I have a lucrative degree that's paying me pretty well, pretty well. And just sit down and burn through my resource money. No, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not doing that. I go back on the people that work because at the end of the day, money have to make. And that's just how it is. That's just the reality of things. I am still trying to figure out what it is that I truly want to do with myself. Because honestly speaking, I keep saying that I need to get out of healthcare and I've been saying that for a long time but I have been racking my brain and my nerve about different things and you know I'm not interested in opening up my own practice like I'm not interested in that <laughs> I met a patient the other day and she was telling me about she was gonna open up her own business but she's a psychologist or license something I don't remember what she said but I was like okay and she was saying yeah you know you, you should do it with somebody who's kind of like a licensed psychologist something like that she was telling me I don't even remember but I'm really not interested in that I'm not even gonna lie like that does not interest me one bit but different strokes for different folks right anyways so that's that on that I'm done for today I'm going to go relax for the rest of the evening I'm working tomorrow actually um, I've been off for the past three days so I'm working tomorrow Friday ah uh, yeah ah uh, yeah <laughs> that's it I will see you guys on the next video thank you guys so much for rocking with the channel you know if you're still rocking with the channel if you subscribe for the nursing content and you wasn't really getting the nursing content and you still stay shout out to you man shout out to you me thank you because you didn't have to stay but yeah we'll see where this gonna go we will see where it's gonna go people change their mind we'll see i'm never not ever gonna talk about nursing but i know i'm not gonna be fully enthralled in doing like a bunch of nursing content like I'm, I'm not gonna do it oh and I'm not vlogging in like the people in facilities anymore like I'm just not gonna do that anymore <laughs> and it, that's why I may have said this channel probably is gonna be dead in the waters because boy make what what else cuz I really don't do much thanks so much for watching subscribe if you wish and like the video not if you wish but like it <laughs> <laughs> and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye. Lots of ear hugs. Lots of ear hugs.